hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is jane and this is the overseas nursing band um so what we do here i give tips on how to pass your oski on relocating to the uk as a new nurse and all those inspirations that you need i give on this channel so i just want to say thank you for those that have stuck with me for all my subscribers and welcome to our new subscribers you're here for a hell of a ride anyway so um i'm just going to say um how are you are you good been taking care of yourself you know the importance of self-care so make sure you're taking care of yourself all right a video about um planning okay so i just want to bring it up again because it seems like people have asked questions on that and probably later i'll do more on the new text of um competency all right so in the first place here i'm just going to say um when you're doing your oski when you've you're a nurse registered in your country as we all know You've done um your C I passed your English test, um gotten the score that NMC requires for you, done your CBT, and you are as presumed now you're in the UK, you're about to write your OSCE and you're wondering how what's the format, how does this OSCE look like? So um OSCE involves obviously the API, so the assessment. So the assessment is when you do your um neurological observation you do your news 2 you do your phq9 you do your um mal malnutrition um screening all of those either of those scenario can come as your assessment so that's the a and the p is the plan in where you do your care plan and all that different scenarios of care plan can come in and then i is for implementation so you implement what you've done like giving of medication and all of those and e is for evaluation after you've done everything you evaluate okay so but today i'm going to be focusing more on um care planning like we said your care plan has to be what we say is specific has to be specific has to be measurable has to be achievable realistic and timely smart so that's the acronym to use when you're trying to analyze when you're trying to do a care plan you have to make sure that is smart so it's specific is measurable is achievable is realistic and it is timely okay and one of the things i think in my video i did one time um at, if you check or maybe i'll add the link here i talked about um using emataride to do your care plan it's really really easy it helps you you don't need to think about it because it's self-explanatory on its own so emataride is e you explain um <clears throat> and discuss all aspect of care you gain consent m that's for monitoring so for example somebody has a breathing problem and all that what do you do so <clears throat> uh, in your gsc G, gcs um score what you do okay and then a is for assess you're assessing for signs of deterioration you're assessing for pain you're assessing you're obviously using your pain too <clears throat> you know you're assessing for nutritional status using your muscle you're assessing for signs of different things so assess so it's e explain m monitor a assess emma and then the next one is T, your teaching. So you're, if this person is in pain, you're teaching them diversional therapy, you're teaching them how to, what to do. You educate about the usage of um, repositioning. You're educating them about the use of um, different things. So it's about teaching. You know, for example, the smoking, you teach them about same smoking cessation program and then a is for administer so your medication now is being administered you're going to be giving your medication and then r is for refer if they need to be referred to a physiotherapist if you need they need to be referred to pain management clinic if they need to be referred to a nutritionist a dietitian 
all of those things you that is your referring and then instruct so you now tell it tell them what to do so for example you're saying oh this is how to use the call back to call me if you need me okay and then very important you document so this is your the last thing that you do after you everything you document all the situations that <clears throat> you have been in all right and another thing you have to be careful when you're writing your oski because you're going to be writing you have to make sure your handwriting is legible that they can see what you're be able to read what you're writing you have to make sure you're using the right terminology you know you don't want to use something that is not known i'm just trying to think of an example but you're using the right terminologies you're not using there's some abbreviations for example eg is a known universal abbreviation so if you use your own personal abbreviations nobody is going to know what you're on about so you have to use recognized and um, abbreviations and then when you have make mistake please don't sh 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 straight lines try strike it out and then they know okay this is cancelled so you don't go or you know all of those things just strike through and then you're expected to give two nursing problem that you're going to deal with and then also you're expected to and you know that when you give your two problems you're going to have to do um do it in the present time so for example jane is experiencing pain and then you you know so it's not jane was experiencing pain so jane is experiencing pain for example that's what you do and then you have to make sure that your diagnosing problem is patient centered is patient centered okay and then also you have to have the aim for your care why are you caring so statement of aims of care relevant to that problem and then ensure, ensure it's in future terms i think that's clear enough your reevaluation dates make sure you you put in your reevaluation date so jed is in pain um to reevaluate after every 30 minutes so your reevaluation date is realistic you know that jane is in pain and then to re um, reevaluate after 30 hours or after 24 hours no because you have recognized this pain now and it's pain you've given them your intervention and everything like that so you are relevant we evaluate every 30 minutes every um you know to yeah so the care you've provided your intervention their current and then self-care activities for them and it's very important like i said if you watch all my videos i always insist and ensure that you are you you are signing your dating sign date sign date if you've done the best care plan done the best implementation done the best whatever you need to do and there's no name there's no date it renders it invalid so remember that some what i would advise usually is date and sign for example purposes it's not that when you're going to the hospital and then you're going to before you administer you sign no date and sign for example purposes because you write 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 and then when it's time to submit you have five minutes in that panic you just submit without signing so before you start date it's my personal advice to you date and sign but you do what works for you but that is a personal advice dates and sign during your OSCE exams not when you're in practice no when you're practice you know that you have to sign after you've given the intervention after you give medication and then patient has swallowed it before you go and sign so you cannot sign before that even during your OSCE implementation you don't have to you have to sign after you've given your medication very important but i'm just saying like all those forms and all that just so you don't forget date and sign so we're going to do um try out one care plan quickly I'm going to quickly try it i've written out the care plan here so um we're going to say a patient that has depression you've done your phq9 probably that's what you did um during your assessment period somebody that with phq9 so they have um depression and you're going to do your care plan based on that Details obviously on your form that they give to you, the details of the patient's name and all that date of birth will be there. And then so your nursing problem. So you say Miss um say Mr. Um TJ is a high risk for self-harm, self-directed harm, self-injury. Um 
as evidenced by PHQ-9. So Mr. TJ is at risk of self-harm, self-directed harm, self-injury as evidenced by PHQ-9. So you write what the score was in your PHQ-9. Mr. TJ will be free from every form of self, will be free from self-harm. And then what your re-evaluation is. So your nursing problem is Mr. TJ is um, for self-harm, you know, is a high risk for self for, for self-harm as evidenced by PHQ-9 score of 9, 16, you know, like that. Or as evidenced by verbal, verbalization, something like that. And then or you say your aim of care will be that TJ will be free from any self-harm. Okay, and then your re-evaluation your re-evaluation date to be re-evaluated on so on the day of your doing that or after 24 hours. So you write the day's date, you know, or as frequently at frequent intervals or if clinical condition changes. So revaluation date will be today is the second of April. Revaluation revaluation date will be 22nd um, of April 2022 and um as condition as clinical condition changes so that's your evaluation date it's specific it's specific it's so what are you going to be doing for them using your our Emma tarot you're going to explain explain and discuss all aspects definitely in every that one is a no-brainer explain and discuss all aspect of nursing care to Mr tj and gain consent in all your nursing care you have to explain gain consent it's important to gain consent okay you're going to be monitoring and recording observations of mr tj every if he's high risk of um for, of, of harm self-harm so you want to keep an eye every hour you have to record observation you know every hour as per new score if you did a new score in station one or okay we're doing the phq so you're going to be observing every hour just to make sure he doesn't self-harm i'm just adding but yeah and then you assess the level of depression assess so assess the level of depression of mr a using your phq 9 um a tool so your phq 9 is what you use to assess the level of so assess level of depression of mr tj using phq 9 Administer medication, so administer medication, antidepressants as prescribed by the doctor and when due, for example. Teach relaxation technique to Mr. TJ, how to relax, teach him diversional therapy, teach him to Mr. TJ, encourage him to ventilate, you know, to speak up, to say their feelings. Diversional therapy could be anything you could mention day activities or sporting activity anything like that and then you teach them how to verbalize their feelings so they can see how they're feeling at any time it helps relieve as well okay and then provide close supervision to obviously somebody that is a high risk of self-harm you have to teach them um how um how to verbalize and then you have to have a close supervision close monitoring to them okay then you refer Mr. TJ to your mental health, to the mental health nurse, to mental health team, depending on which is applicable. Okay. Demonstrates in the use of the call bell and instructs to use whenever needed. So you're going to demonstrate to them how to use the call bell. Oh, Mr. TJ, this is a call bell. If you're feeling low, if you need anything, just call me. We'll be there. I'm just in the nursing station. Well, you're not going to see that. You write it down, but I'm giving you an idea on that document all aspects of care that you have given to document everything document so this is basic you have to document everything that you have done for mr tj okay on patient self-care activity so self-care what you encourage them to do for themselves so you're going to say identify negative thoughts and verbalize feelings. Mr. TJ identifies negative thoughts and verbalize feelings. Um, Mr. TJ will demonstrate an increased ability to cope with anxiety, stress, depression, or frustration. And Mr. TJ 
um, will de de demonstrate effective relaxation technique. I hope that's been helpful. If you want me to do more, um, if you want me to do more um, care plans with you, just indicate, send me a message and let me know. I'll do more, but I think this has been helpful. Anyway, thank you for watching. I just want to say if you've loved this video, can you please subscribe to my channel? And as well, after subscribing, can you share? Can you comment? Send it to somebody that might need it. And I just want to wish you a very successful uh, journey to becoming a UK nurse and wishing you of all the best in your forthcoming OSCE. If your OSCE is forthcoming, wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Bye.